Great. Hey, everybody, Mike Ferrante from Century 21 Homestar, 21 Mike team. Great topic today, selling your home during the holidays. Good idea or not. We're going to address this from an agent point of view and also from a seller point of view, because like so many things in our business, Tony, uh, there's never really a yes or no clear cut answer. The answer is often it depends. And so we'll break it down and give people some thoughts on how they can evaluate to make a good decision for them and how we as agents can advise our clients how to approach this difficult question. So introductions again, I'm Mike Ferrante, uh, 21 Mike team. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our training. You can also circle back and watch all the past trainings that we do. Tony Geraci, who's the broker owner of Century 21 Homestar, and I do these every single Tuesday. We cram um, an hour or two's worth of great information into about 20 minutes and do our best to give free training to uh, not only Homestar agents, but all the agents out there, right, Tony? We have a collaborative mentality. So uh, how can people reach you uh, if they wanna get a hold of you, Tony? A uh, text message is always best for me at 216-374-1269. And Tony, contrary to popular be belief, um, you are actually available for one-on-one um, uh, -on -one training. I know we have over 500 agents, but uh, amazing how you uh, put all that in your schedule. So, um, Yeah, well, my, my days are always uh, half-hour increments all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, anybody who wants one-on-one, uh, -on -one, I just uh, put it in my schedule and we'll, we'll plan it. Uh, uh, I always remind everybody I, my day is scheduled. So, you know, uh, other than in between my calls and my meetings, that's when I handle all the stuff happening now. <laughs> so yeah. I always tell I, my half hour increments, my calls are usually 20 minutes or less because I need that 10 minutes in between each call minimum to handle what happened over the last half hour. <laughs> if that's that right. Sense. Yep. So if you're interested in talking to Tony about real estate in general or Homestar, Century 21 Homestar, you can hit him up there and you can email me, Mike at 21mike.com if you have real estate questions or want to talk teams. So anyway, back to the question at hand, Tony, you're, a, you're an agent and your seller says, or you're a seller and you're thinking, gosh, should I sell during the holidays? Like we alluded in the beginning, there's really no yes or no answer. Um, but how do you how do you approach that question if you're an agent? Because obviously we don't come across as just wanting to get the listing, right? We truly want what's best for our client. Right. Well, number one thing when, when people bring that up or a, a seller a client brings that up, usually it's because they don't want to be inconvenienced. So I always explain to agents, well, ask the sellers why, you know, should we sell during the holidays? Is it going to inconvenience you? Because the buyers that are, are definitely, uh, let's say, motivated might be going during that time. You know, example, I tell agents like right now, like Thanksgiving is great. Uh, you should have an open house on Saturday and Sunday after Thanksgiving. A lot of age like, well, what? I go, imagine you have a hot house you just put on the market and what, like any advertising, uh, when you see a sign or you get traffic, Thanksgiving, people are going to people's houses, put a sign out on Thanksgiving morning saying open house this Saturday, this Sunday with an arrow and in front of the house and in that neighborhood, in that main street, how many people are going to be driving by and seeing your advertisement for an open house? Will it result anything? I can't guarantee that, but it can't hurt. It can only help when people are driving around, if that makes sense. Yeah, Tony, and that's a great point because agents are always asking me, Mike, how can I differentiate myself? You know, there's so many agents, so much competition. Well, what are most agents doing this time of year? They're kind of shutting it down. They're, they're, right doing what they have going and they're not putting as much effort into their business because a lot of them have the mentality, well, nothing happens this time of year anyway. Why would I have an open house over Thanksgiving weekend? Not only will you generate traffic for your seller, but the people who are in that neighborhood are going to say, wow, that, uh, that Mike Ferrante is really working hard. He's even working Thanksgiving weekend. That is a difference maker. So that's another reason to have an open house this weekend. Exactly. And there might, if you're lucky, 
Uh, you might have people in from uh, for the holidays, family, friends, visiting people. Yeah, you might get some just uh, nosy Nellies, so to say, is that the <laughs> term we use? They just want to, they, hey, you know, they're driving down the street and want to see what's going on. They're in and out doing their holiday shopping. But that's a way for you as an agent to use your listings to meet people, connect with people, try to get their name and number, put them on your database. Use your listings to get more clients. Yep. Nosy Nelly. I'll have to look that one up on Urban Dictionary, Tony. Uh, <laughs> the hey, ones so, are like, they've been living next door to that, uh, someone uh, for years and never got to see the inside of their house. But when they have an open house, they go, mm, I want to go see <laughs> what their house looks like. Awesome. All right. So to kind of get back to the, the pluses and minuses here, minus, one minus you brought up was uh, the stress of the holidays. You know, do, does a seller really want to keep their home looking show ready? Do they have family in from out of town? I think you're uh, we're spot on when you when you at, when you said ask them why. Or if you're a seller listening to this, ask yourself what are the reasons that you're worried about selling during the holidays. If, I mean, if you're going to have company, family staying in your guest bedroom, and you don't want to inconvenience them, you know, absolutely that's a consideration. Uh, if the holiday season is just too stressful already, and you can afford to wait, that would be another reason to wait. Um, but apart from that. I think some of the other objections that I hear, Tony, and I would love to hear your answer to this. Well, Tony, homes don't really sell over the holidays. I, I heard the market slows down over the holidays. That's why I, you know, my, my house may be vacant or, or maybe there's no reason I can't sell it, but I just think it's better to wait until after the first of the year. I really have no other reason. It's not the stress. It's not those other things we talked about. I just want to wait till after the first of the year because I think homes don't sell over the holidays. What would you say to uh, someone who said that to you? Sure, no, we could show you the the, the proof of that all, uh, every year. Uh, you could go back for decades, you know, right on the MLS, we'll show you all the houses that transferred, all the houses that transferred the end of July, uh, January or end of December or beginning of January uh, that started on things like before Thanksgiving, right after Thanksgiving, before or after Christmas, it happens. So really the, I always say there is no bad time to sell the, your home or have your house on the market. It's just, if it's an inconvenience for you, there's no, if it's a, it, 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 the pros outweigh or the cons outweigh the pros, so to say, and if it's not an inconvenience for you as a seller, then there's no reason to not to, to take your house off the market. Yeah. So one of the things I'll tell sellers is that, look, right now we know homes are selling. It's still a seller's market, even though things slow down in the winter. It's not so much if your home is going to sell, but now we're in a position where we're trying to get the best buyer and the best buyer could be the one with the highest price. It could be the one with the flexible closing dates. You know, it could be whatever terms you're looking for, but finding that best buyer is our new mission as real estate agents and sellers. So what I would tell them is I'd say, hey, what if a buyer buys another house in November and December and they would have loved to have been able to see your house and they were a cash buyer who would have met all of your needs? You know, you'll never know that, of course, but you may miss them because you're holding your house off the market for really no good reason if you don't have concerns until January, February, March. That's the buyer that we missed. We'll never know it, but that's the risk that you're taking by holding it off the market. Right, exactly. And there's ways to to, to uh, make it less painful for sellers if there's inconvenience. You could put 24 hours notice to show, 48 hours, no showings during this time. If a seller says, well, I, you know, I, I have fa family, we're going to be busy for three or four days, uh, but it might be convenient to show the house, but I don't want to be in the middle of negotiations on Saturday after Thanksgiving all day long and, and take out my whole weekend of, back and forth with a buyer. I'm like, okay, great. We'll show your house, but we're, we'll just let them know if they want to write an offer. We'll talk to you on Monday. You know, we could hold them off unless, yes. you know, but you don't have to. So unless you have that conversation with your sellers, you don't know what their motivation, because they might think buyer comes in today. They might want to write an offer today, but they're busy this weekend. You explain, no, we could hold off. You don't have to accept or even look at an offer for a day or two if you're busy. Yeah. So Tony, I heard it. I heard the coin, the term coined delayed offer acceptance. So 
agents put it right in the MLS and the broker remarks, seller will review any and all offers on such and such a date. So if you have a seller who's concerned about having to respond, like Tony said, put in there, seller will respond to offers on X date. And now everybody has a fair chance to see the house and everybody has the same expectation that they're not going to get a response until Monday in Tony's example. Um, so Tony, here's another argument for listing during the holidays. I've read and, and experienced firsthand buyers who are out during the holidays are more serious, right? Oh yeah, definitely. If they're coming out during the holidays, uh, putting family and uh, events and things on the side, they, they should be and could be more uh, motivated. Yeah, plus investors, if you're in a price range where investor buyers are a possibility, they buy year round. Um, the other reason that I've heard is a great reason to sell during the holidays is that, as you mentioned, you know, we have time off work and so buyers have more time to shop. So all these frustrated buyers who have been maybe outbid earlier in the year, these are eager, hungry buyers. They've got time and maybe they're thinking, hey, the holiday season might be my time to finally get, get a house. Uh, I, I've seen this firsthand. It's kind of like, again, exactly what you said there. It's kind of like when people are not working, why isn't things more things open for them to do because they're off work? That's amazing having an open house, having your a, a property available to show during a time when less people are, or more people have the time. And that's usually over the holidays, you know, the, the day after a holiday, two days after the holiday, you know, uh, people have off work and just, uh, we're in a service industry, so to say, we have to make sure our products are available to these people during that time. Yeah. Uh, another reason that I think it's a good time to sell is that even though we're in uh, an inventory shortage anyway, traditionally every winter inventory goes down. Now, mm -hmm. I just did a market update and inventory is still rising slightly, but we still have this shortage of inventory. So there's really, you know, there's less competition, I guess is one way to put it. So during the winter time, during the holidays, there tends to be less competition for your, your home, um, which I think is a real benefit to sellers. Yeah, everybody, uh, anybody that is in real estate knows and everybody that reads anything about real estate and searches, you know, times to buy, sell, that type of thing, knows that spring, summer is usually out there. Why? Because there's more people out there looking. So same thing. You just want to be available when more people were looking. And I think the holidays are a great time with that because they're off of work. Yep, I agree 100%. Uh, another reason... Uh, and I, I don't, I, I want to say this the right way because we're never trying to cover things up, but winter time may be a good time to show your home because things look really pretty. You know, snow is covering the landscaping. Um, you've got, you've got maybe holiday decorations up, um, lights and, you know, decor, you know, whatever you have, it, it's really a pretty time to sell your house. And, you know, maybe if your landscaping isn't all that perfect, it's all covered with snow. It's not a material defect, but your home may look the best during the winter. You know, first snow, Tony, we're all, all excited about that, right? And getting those winter pictures, the first winter pictures of the season, it's kind of fun to see them, right? Oh, definitely. And then this is a time of year, you know, I, I know a lot of agents uh, do this. Uh, and if you haven't done this, if you have an open house, especially in the fall or or winter as uh, you know, I've, agents that always go to their open house with a pie and they put it in the fridge or put it in the oven at a, at a low temperature, don't want to burn it. <laughs> and so they, they feel like more homey and exactly what you said with the decorations, the house feels more like a home. And that's what people are looking for with the holiday decorations, the, uh, the smells, the things, you know, and like that, the, the if someone said, well, my house might not be the cleanest after we're having family Thanksgiving that weekend, I'm like, yeah, do the best you can. But the smells, keep those smells in there. It smells like Thanksgiving, it smells like family. You know, these are the type, types of things that uh, could put your house ahead of someone else. Yeah, I agree 100%. Uh, you know, the, the other and last point that I wanted to make about an advantage is that you know, sometimes the um, uh, inspectors and lenders 
all those things we've been struggling to get scheduled over the busy season, they're also more available. The, the services are more available. Um, you know, everyone's kind of winding down for the winter season. Um, so when there's less business going on, it's also a good time to get a deal closed, especially if we have to close it quickly. Some people are trying to close before the end of the year. Um, so meeting these deadlines, another great reason to potentially sell during the holidays. And also, I know as uh, being in the business 30 years, being a broker for over 20 years and helping agents, I get calls or texts every holiday on the holiday because real estate doesn't stop for some people, especially when it's a religious holiday. That's not everybody else's religious holiday. That might be another Thursday to them. And again, just think about it now all the stores are closed and everything else closed. They have nothing else to do. Think about buying a house or selling a house because they can't go anywhere or do anything. And then they're reaching out to their agent. If your agent's not uh, in that uh, celebrate that holiday, they have questions. So I always tell my agents, I don't shut down over the holidays because you might not shut down. Your clients might not shut down. So, you know, this, just don't assume uh, still be open, I say, unless, I mean, again, pros and cons, most, a lot of agents and just shut down for the exact holiday after holiday, tell all their clients, everybody, I'm not available. That's great. That's a choice. But I would say, don't do it because you think nothing might not be going on. And that's yeah. the only reason. And Tony, I think that's a great point to kind of end on, and then we'll recap. But I think that if you are going to slow down your business or even shut it down, over the holidays, you've got to have a plan in place because uh, you're still probably going to have some pending deals. If you have listings, there still may be activity on them. Um, so you don't want to make yourself completely unavailable. But I know that this time of year, people like to take vacations or, or shut it down for some period of time. Have a plan in place for how you're going to handle things should they arise during your shutdown or, or slowdown. Some tips for this. Well, this may seem self-serving, but join a team. You know, while some of us are on vacation on the team, we ask a teammate to cover for us. You know, call your manager, call your broker, connect with another agent if you're not on a team and have a plan in place for how your business is going to stay, quote, open while you're taking some, some time off. I agree. And let me say one last thing about pictures, because you mentioned pictures of the house yes. and holidays and things. And a lot of agents that might be watching this that have only been in the business maybe a few years or, or, or less might not understand this, this comment. But when you take a listing over the winter with winter pictures, make a note, remind yourself a month from now, two months from now. Again, like, wow, what? A listing on the market for a month, two months, three months from now? And remind yourself, replace those pictures. You can't have a listing in April, May, June with they're still showing snow in the pictures. Yes, agents, anybody watching like that never happens. Yes, you're going to have listings someday in your career that have been on the market three, four months, right, Mike? You've been in the market since 2008. Have you had listings on the market for four, five, six months? That yeah, should have especially, sold. Especially back then. And, and we used to joke about that. Wow, snow pictures in June, you know, so a great tip, Tony. And one of the pieces of advice that I'll add to that is if you know you're getting a listing, take some pictures now, maybe while there's still some leaves on the trees. I know there's not much left, but depending on where you are, uh, you get some different views. So take some pictures pre-snow, take some pictures when it snows, and then that way you have a variety of exterior pictures uh, to offer uh, on your listing. But that's an awesome tip, Tony. I, we haven't thought about that in a while, have we? Right now, but every time I think about pictures, I always think about that. <laughs> so quick, quick recap here, just because uh, we're winding down on time. But uh, so re just remember, agents, when you're talking to your clients or sellers, if you're listening to this, uh, it's not really about it's not about the agent. It's always what's best for our clients. And when they ask you, should I put my home on the market during the holidays? The first thing we want to do is start asking them questions. Uh, Tony, you 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 verbalize that perfectly. So if you could kind of recap, I ask you, hey Tony, should I put my house on the market during the holidays? Um, tell me tell me again how you would res respond. Sure. Is there uh, the reason why? What's most important to you, or what you think the difficulties will be, and see what see what the response is. And if it's just about inconvenience to them, you could again, if you feel comfortable, you keep digging in. Is like, is there inconvenience to you? Have people staying? Is it you're cooking dinner here? Or what days? We could limit the times, but 
overall, we feel that you should keep your house on the market this uh, when people have ability to see it. So there might be people that are working, you know, 60, 70, 80 hours a week and their family and kids. And then they're right during the holidays. That's when they're free. And they go, wow, we could get the whole family together uh, the day after Thanksgiving to go see a house yeah. uh, because we're all off of work and the kids don't have sports and we're not working and we're, we're taking the time off you know, they might, uh, it's open to them. And I would want to keep your house open for those people that might be in the market like that. Would that be an inconvenience to you and why? Right. So uncover the objections, offer potential solutions, but at the end of the day, it's whatever the client decides. So that's how, that's how we think is the best way to answer this question. Uh, should I sell my house during the holidays? And uh, hopefully that helps everybody and sellers. If you are thinking about it, you know, kind of ask yourself those questions and consult with your agent and see what's best for you. Uh, but that's all we have for today. Uh, next week, Tony, uh, we have one more um, agent training. And then in December, it's all about business planning. So agents, if you are interested in how to put together a, a business plan for 2022, we're going to tackle that in the month of December. That's great. I'm looking forward to it. All right, everybody, have a great Thanksgiving, rest of your week, and we'll talk to you next week. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. See everybody soon. Bye-bye.